Now on Coast TV News. I accept your nomination to be president of the United States of America. Harris hype after a week of high praise from Democrats in the media. Kamala Harris ready to take over as the party's presidential nominee. And that fall lake chill hanging around, greeting us this morning once again with temperatures in the 50s, but we are in for quite a Friday afternoon with mostly sunny skies, 80s returning. I'll have your weekend forecast, plus the return of more summer lake temperatures just ahead. Firefighter hero funeral, the show of support from DeMarva first responders that paid respects to one of their own. Upping opposition effort, the action Fenwick Island is looking to take later today to block a wind farm from being built off our coast. This is Coast TV News Today. It is Friday, August 23rd, 2024. Good morning, I'm Matt Pensick. And I'm Elisa Weber. Thank you for being up with us during our 6 o'clock hour. Yes, Elisa. Get this, you and I are both big college football fans. We are. Season begins tomorrow. I can't believe yeah. it. They, week zero, they call it. It's not week one. But Rutgers doesn't play until Thursday. Who? Um, Rutgers, oh, okay. the State, state University New, of New, New Jersey. Jersey. New Jersey State. They don't play right. till Thursday, so I'm kind of, you know, kind of checked out until. It's just kind of a little, uh, a little uh, appetizer. That's the word I'm looking for. Exactly. For football season is here. I mean, they're looking for a national championship, so you know. Who? Rutgers. Oh. Yeah, that's so nice. I know I know Chris will agree with me. Come on, Chris. In addition to the weather, <laughs> you also agree with me. Uh, There's no way Chris is agreeing <laughs> with that. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little more on Matt's side with that one. Uh, Rehoboth Beach, look at that gorgeous look there. Uh, sunrise coming up at 620. Folks taking an early morning stroll on the boardwalk. Maybe heading out for a run. I'll tell you what, perfect running weather. At least knows 61 degree temperature right now, 57 degree dew point. So we continue to see that dry air throughout much of the Delmarva Peninsula. We're at 60 in Bethany Beach, 63 in Ocean City, 54 in Georgetown, and 50 in Delmar. As I mentioned, the dew points, 50s, lower 60s at the coast. But overall, we are going to continue to see that dry weather. Uh, visibility not really an issue at this hour. Maybe some low-lying areas seeing some moisture at the t at this time, but higher pressure though is in full control of our weather parked right over the peninsula, and we are seeing dry conditions throughout much of the Ohio Valley, the uh, Tennessee Valley, and we're going to continue to stay dry throughout the weekend. Temperatures are going to be rising, though, through the afternoon. Lower 80s, low humidity continues the weekend. Just a beautiful weekend shaping up more seasonable temperatures, and we will see the return of more a summer-like pattern getting into the lower 90s, humidity increases, as well as those storm chances by next week. As far as today is concerned, wall-to-wall -wall sunshine topping out in the lower 80s. We'll have that seven-day forecast coming up in just a little bit. Thank you, Chris. You are looking live now at Chicago, Illinois, just after 5 a.m. there. Just a few hours ago, the week-long event that was the Democratic National Convention came to an end, and it was a historic night, ending with Vice President Kamala Harris accepting the party's nomination for president. And today the candidates begin a 74-day sprint until voting concludes on Election Day. And NBC's Alice Barr shows us what Harris says she plans for the country as the backbone of her campaign. Vice President Kamala Harris bringing down the House in her quest to shatter the nation's highest glass ceiling. I accept your nomination to be president of the United States. The first woman of color to lead a major party ticket, weaving her life story and professional path into her vision for the country. We are charting a new way forward. The daughter of Jamaican and Indian immigrants paying tribute to her mother. She taught us to never complain about injustice, but do something about it. Under pressure to define her policy positions after her sudden ascent to the nomination, the prosecutor turned senator and vice president, promising to cut taxes for the middle class and bring back the bipartisan border bill former President Trump opposed. I will sign it into law. She slammed Republican restrictions on reproductive rights. Simply put, they are out of their minds and reference January 6, arguing a second Trump term would bring more serious consequences. America, we are not going back. What about us? What about all the plans that ended in disaster? 
after Pink capped a week of star-powered performances, praise from Harris's family and from party leaders, plus a few from across the aisle. The vice president telling NBC News she's looking ahead. That was good. Now we gotta move on. Now, as supporters promise to push for every vote, we're gonna door knock our way to a victory. We're gonna register our way to a victory. And historic Democratic ticket, hoping to turn a surge in momentum into concrete gains at the ballot box. In Chicago, Alice Barr, NBC News. Remembering a hero, Delaware firefighters paying their respects after one of their own was tragically killed on the job. Hundreds of family, friends, and colleagues showing out to honor Thomas Wilson Berry III at the Crossroads Community Church. The lengthy procession included over 80 emergency units, and they escorted Barry's casket from the church to the places he served, the Georgetown Fire Company, Sussex County EMS, and the Ellendale Volunteer Fire Company. Barry answered the final alarm at the Ellendale Cemetery. And Thomas Barry III lost his life while trying to help save one, someone else. Thursday, those that knew him best shared fond memories and honored the man they all viewed as a hero. It was clear by the turnout that the sort of lasting impact Barry had on the Georgetown and Ellendale Fire Companies, as well as Sussex County EMS. It's a stark reminder of just what the bravest members of our society do day in and day out to keep this community safe. Every first responder knows that that's a risk. And every time you put the uniform on, every time you respond to a call, you recognize that there's a risk associated with doing that. Um, he gave his life doing that. Um, and uh, he is um, and will forever be a hero. Thomas Berry was Ellendale's Firefighter of the Year in 2022. Happening today, the pushback against the wind farm proposed to be built off of our coast. This is about to be taken up a notch in Fenwick Island. The town council is considering legal action if the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management greenlights the plan. A vote could be taken whether to have Marzula Law LLC represent them in a lawsuit. Earlier this year, Fenwick Island said no to $2 million spread out over 20 years by alternative energy company U.S. Wind to use its land for the project. The Bureau is expected to have a decision next month. And that's a decision that could also trigger a lawsuit against the Bureau from Ocean City. Earlier this month, Mayor Rick Meehan and the council began to prepare for that action if the wind farm is approved. U.S. Wind has been planning to add wind turbines nearly 11 miles away from the Ocean City boardwalk. And Meehan told Coast TV that he believes the Bureau is not taking the town's concerns seriously, and he thinks it will greenlight that U.S. Wind project. Developing news in eastern Sussex County and the Cape Henlopen School District, the Board of Education is moving two key proposals forward. First one will allow for a 24 classroom expansion and athletic facility renovation. Estimated cost for this project is just under $69 million. 60% of that will come from the state and then 40% from local bonds. The other proposal is for the purchase of 103 acres along Cedar Grove Road. Right there, you see the land will be earmarked for a new district office, bus maintenance facility, and swimming complex. No state money going towards that plan. It'll be entirely funded locally, which could be more than $80 million. The Milton Lewis and uh, Rehoboth, you know, uh, uh, lands just being soaked up so fast for development, you know, they're, they're going to have to move at a, a fairly uh, decent speed, you know, to, to actually secure something that uh, will allow this uh, district to grow. Now, this is not a done deal. Next, these plans will go to the Delaware Department of Education. Getting the money is a key part here after two referendums were voted down by the people in the district earlier this year. The Ocean City Air Show is this weekend, so you should expect heavy traffic and delays. Streets from 12th to 20th will be closed from August 23rd to the 25th, and some roads will stay closed until noon on the 26th. Parking will be limited, but several lots are available with demand-based rates. Ocean City's municipal buses are available for $4 all day. In Milford, the police department there is getting some new wheels. Four police vehicles are set to be replaced. The department says this was already approved in the city's budget and it has already picked out the cars it wants to buy. 
Milford City Council set the vote on the final approval at its meeting Monday night. And we're just getting started on this hour of Coast TV News today. Now coming up, Protect Your Pet will tell you where you can get low-cost vaccinations for your furry friend along the coast this weekend. And also, a fraud foiled in Fenwick Island will tell you how officials say one identity thief almost got away with a lot of land in Sussex County. And economy update from the Federal Reserve. How this comes as fears surrounding a recession grow. All that and more as Coast TV News Today continues. Hot tub, hot tub, hot tub. Millions of dollars of factory direct 2024 inventory. Today through Sunday. With Comico Civic Center. Hundreds of hot tubs and swim spas ready for immediate delivery. Factory direct prices. Many models to choose from. Come see the revolutionary swim spa and save thousands. Trade-ins welcome. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. 18-month interest-free financing. New 2024 inventory. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. With Comico Civic Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 855-SPA-SALE. Celebrate Labor Day weekend with Camp Rehoboth Community Center at Sun Festival 2024 in Rehoboth Beach. On August 31st, enjoy a night of comedy with stand-up comedian Joe Dombrowski. He looked at me and he goes, ma'am, uh... Okay, that laugh was a hate crime. Then on September 1st, dance the night away with DJs Robbie Leslie and Joe Gothro. Don't miss the summer's biggest party at the Rehoboth Beach Convention Center. Get your tickets at camprehoboth.org. Sponsored by Coast TV. Got a plumbing problem that can't wait? Then why would you? At FH Fur, we know how frustrating it is to be stuck waiting for help, which is why we offer same-day service guaranteed. Whether it's a leaky faucet, a clogged drain, a broken pipe, you name it, the expert plumbers at FH Fur are standing by and ready to get you out of hot water, or maybe into some hot water if that's your issue. Same-day service guaranteed, regardless of your plumbing predicament. 877-CALL-FUR, FHFUR.com. Are leaves and debris causing issues with your gutter? No need to risk climbing a shaky ladder ever again. We have the permanent solution, Gutter Helmet, America's number one choice in gutter protection for over 40 years. Engineered to manage the heaviest of rainfalls, letting water flow freely. And the best part, never clean your gutters again, guaranteed. The lifetime warranty is transferable, so you can rest assured that you'll never have to replace your gutter helmet system. And right now, save 20% on your new gutters and gutter helmet. Call Gutter Helmet today for your free estimate. Well, a pleasant good Friday morning. Delmarva, hope everyone's Friday is off to a fantastic start. We certainly are weather-wise. Live look in the lowest, clear skies, calm winds, cool temperatures greeting us once again this morning. 58 degrees there in Lewis, dew point 57, so still very comfortable. And you see plenty of sunshine once that sun rises here in about uh, eight minutes or so. We will see plenty of sunshine and temperatures getting to around 73 by around 10. So a gorgeous Friday shaping up. You can see temperatures away from the coast though. We're in the low to mid 50s. So yes, that fall chill still hanging on and greeting us this morning. And with the cooler temperatures over the last few days, we still have high UV index. So keep that in mind, that sun angle. Sun is still very strong this time of year. Burn time coming in at 30 minutes. The golf, well, it was looking really good this afternoon, and we've had some spectacular golfing conditions. See temperatures getting up to around 82 this afternoon. It's going to be a fabulous one, Matt. We'll have more coming up as far as your seven-day forecast is concerned here in just a few minutes. Thank you, Chris. Taking a trip to the library. I'll have to wait a little bit in Bridgeville. The town's public library says it's closed today and Saturday, and this is for some parking lot improvements going on there. A heads up for drivers in the Seafield area next week as City Road is set to close. This will be Beagle Club Road between Main Street and Woodland Ferry Road. That's the location we're showing you on your screen. And this is for the installation of crossroad pipes. This starts Tuesday, August 27th and runs through September 5th. And this morning, Federal Reserve Chair Jeremy Powell will deliver remarks on the economy in Wyoming. Powell's remarks come as new data sparks, some fears that the economy could soon enter a recession. Last month, the U.S. unemployment rate jumped 4.3 percent, which was the highest level since October 2021. And Walmart is partnering with Burger King for what they hope customers will consider to be a whopper of a deal. Customers of Walmart's subscription program, Walmart Plus, will get a 25 percent discount on Burger King orders every day and free Whoppers every three months. Walmart Plus launched four years ago and it's directly aimed at taking over Amazon Prime and offers similar perks. 
And still ahead, fending off fraud, we'll tell you how one potential scam was thwarted and what you need to know so it doesn't happen to you. A clear, cool, dry start to our Friday. Temperatures starting off once again in the 50s. We are in for a treat this afternoon, getting up into the 80s. We'll talk about your weekend forecast ahead, plus the return of a more summer-like weather pattern when my like first alert forecast when Coast TV News Today continues. We're Coast Country, and we're Delmarva Proud. Coverage on the road, in your community, along the coast. The IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep, live on the street, day or night. From breaking news to weather in your town, the IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep. Coverage you can count on. This summer, pack your bags and head to Ocean City, Maryland for free family fun all summer long. Watch beach movies, build sandcastles, and gaze at colorful kites, all completely free. Bust a move from the beach to the bay with beach dance parties, sunset park party nights, and Sundays in the park with fire fireworks all completely free enjoy arts and crafts discover ocean city's history and be in awe of acrobatic stunts at the circus all completely free so get going family memories are waiting to be made in ocean city maryland plan your trip now at oceocean.com mondays at five on big 1077 it's time to huddle up and talk football we're talking touchdowns tackles and everything in between from game changing plays to the latest news around the league We'll take a deep dive into all of the plays that made a difference. We'll see you in the end zone. Catch the end zone, Mondays at 5 on Big 1077. Hi, can I get an extra large quadruple shot? Extra hot, semi-sweet caramel macchiato with almond milk and a medium. Whatever happened to coffee? Black. When you need a minute, there's the Bally Casino app. Featuring tons of exciting slots like Divine Fortune, Cash Machine, and 88 Fortunes, we bring the excitement to you. Throw in your favorite table games and... Got one! So who needs caffeine? I still like some. Yeah, me too. Bet boldly with the Bally Casino app, powered by Bet Rivers. I feel the weight of each and every trial. Justice is a battle. Every day. We have a vow to make this city safe. NBC's Law & Order, new October 3rd, set your DVR. The UV Index Weather Report is sponsored by Ocean City Tourism. Somewhere to smile about. Approaching 617 on this Friday morning, and we are now showing you a live look at Lewis and the Roosevelt Inlet area there. Things look pretty calm out in the distance. You can start to see the hints of the sunrise. And I guess for today, Chris, we're just going to get a touch warmer than what we've experienced the last few days this week. That's right, Matt. Yeah, we're going to see those temperatures kind of gradually begin to rise steadily over the course of the next few days. And then, unfortunately, the humidity is going to gradually rise as we get into next week. But we'll talk about that a little bit later on. 50 currently in Del Mar. We're at 54. Georgetown, 55 in Milton. 60s here along the coast. A little milder there. But uh, that fall chill hanging on uh, across Del Mar greeting us this morning. And it's still can very dry out there. Very comfortable. All thanks to those dew points in the 50s. Winds relatively calm with the clear skies that's allowing that radiational cooling to take place. Well, we're dry, clear sailing. I mean, if you have any travel plans today, heading out of the peninsula, heading west, north, south, looking really good. Disturbance there across uh, the uh, southern outer banks, but pretty much dry throughout most of the eastern half of the country. And we're going to be plenty dry as well here with mostly sunny skies topping out in the lower 80s this afternoon. And there you see 83 Milford, 82 in Millsboro. We'll see 77 in Rehoboth, 81 in Laurel. Top out 83 in Easton, 82 in Cambridge. We'll see 81 in Crisfield, 70 in Chicoteague, and 83 in Salisbury. So clear skies throughout the morning and into the afternoon, and we will see plenty of sunshine throughout the day. And that sunshine continues into Saturday and Sunday. We're going to get those temperatures more seasonable for this time of year back in the mid 80s. So we're looking very nice along the coast. Assateague, 77 there over the weekend. Fenwick Island, we're at 80 on your Saturday. Low risk of recurrence through the weekend, 82 in Lewis on Saturday and looking very nice for the air show in Ocean City. So if you're heading out, gorgeous weather expected. Humidity levels are going to be tolerable as well. And then as we get into next week, well, that's when we start to see the rise in humidity. Dew points back in the 60s and 70s, especially by the middle part of next week. So we're at 82 today, a fabulous Friday indeed, 56 overnight. 
we will see 83 for your Saturday. A sensational start to the weekend, and we'll see those average-like temperatures by Sunday. And then there you go, the return of the summer-like temperatures by next week. Thank you, Chris. And fraud in Fenwick Island, it was a scam that almost worked. As Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zapay explains, check this out. There is an identity thief that nearly put together a deal for a plot of land on Maryland Avenue. It was thwarted late in the process. This property in Fenwick Island was almost sold this year. The only problem? The actual owner of the land had no idea. This house of cards all came crashing down once an actual buyer was interested, and the realtor, who thought they were representing the real owner, sent the deal along to the law firm Ward & Taylor. That's when Ashley Miller, a real estate paralegal for the firm, spotted the problem. When I asked him to verify his mailing address associated with the county, he was unable to provide it. He was kind of giving me the runaround and then eventually hung up on me. And that's obviously probably the biggest red flag of all. Eventually, the authorities got involved. Fenwick Island Police sent out a warning this week to all property owners that an identity theft scam is going around town. It's not uncommon in Sussex County at all. A lot of offices get hit with it. We've heard some horror stories. Um, so it is, it's pretty prevalent, especially in Sussex County. Luckily, in this case, Miller was able to recognize the scam. She then found the real owner's contact information, contacted them, and confirmed the land was actually not for sale. As for the suspect, Police Chief Michael Morrissey says they don't have a name, they don't have any leads, but they do believe it was someone from out of state, possibly in the Midwest. This can happen if you own unimproved property here in town because you're not raising red flags when you're walking on a property and you're looking at it and you make an offer on it if you see it's for sale as opposed to a house where you actually have to go in and look at it and whatnot. Property owners are not the only people that have to look out for any scams. Megan Hudson, an attorney at Warden Taylor, says buyers have to keep an eye out too. If you're a buyer and looking to put in an offer on a property and the value, it seems too good to be true, likely it, that's the case. Chief Morrissey hopes that by spreading the word out in Fenwick Island, that people will be more aware on if their property is being sold illegally. I'm Kevin Zappay in Fenwick Island, Coast TV News. More to come this morning. Protect your pet this week and we'll tell you what organization is offering low cost vaccinations and microchipping in Sussex County. From the sand to the sky, the exciting events coming to the coast this weekend. Everyone knows kids are messy, especially in the summertime. Back to school. Your home isn't clean until it's Stanley Steamer clean. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. This summer, pack your bags and head to Ocean City, Maryland for free family fun all summer long. Watch beach movies, build sandcastles, and gaze at colorful kites, all completely free. Bust a move from the beach to the bay with beach dance parties, sunset park party nights, and Sundays in the park with fireworks, all completely free. Enjoy arts and crafts, discover Ocean City's history, and be in awe of acrobatic stunts at the circus, all completely free. So get going. Family memories are waiting to be made in Ocean City, Maryland. Plan your trip now at Oceocean.com. Our mission here at the Boardwalk Buddy Walk is simple, to create a community where people with Down syndrome or any other cognitive disorder can live, learn, work, and play. That's why every October, we invite family and friends to a full weekend of acceptance and inclusion in Rehoboth Beach. This year's event takes place on October 12th at 9 a.m. at the Rehoboth Beach Boardwalk and Bandstand. So come out to this year's Boardwalk Buddy Walk and Walk. For more info, go to BoardwalkBuddyWalk.com, sponsored by Coast TV. When choosing windows and doors for your home, at Pella, it's your choice. We manufacture maintenance-free vinyl, fiberglass, and wood-clad windows and patio doors, all with lifetime warranties. High-performance, energy-efficient, and loaded with options to help make your house your home. Industry-first features and benefits make living easier and increase your home's value. Visit our Experience Center or call us today to schedule your free in-home consultation, where we bring the showroom to you. Come to Out in the Light, where your treasure awaits. 
nestled in the heart of America's coolest small town. Out and Delights is not just your average gift shop, but where you can go for extraordinary finds, carrying items such as nautical decor, vintage vinyl, jewelry, holiday decor year-round, souvenirs, and toys. Don't forget to add a little fun to your shopping by checking out Zoltar or our Penny Crushing Machine. Find what delights you at Out and Delights on Main Street in Berlin, across the street from the Mermaid Museum. Protect your pets this weekend. Humane Animal Partners is hosting four low-cost vaccine clinics. Pets can get dewormed, microchipped, rabies vaccinations, and there's also more. First one of these is set for tomorrow, Saturday at 9 a.m., and that's at the HAP Center in Rehoboth Beach at Midway. This is first come, first serve. An adult kickball is kicking off in Milford in just a couple of weeks. The city's Park and Recreation Department is inviting players and teams to enroll in the seven-week league. And you have to have at least eight players to register, and you have to have at least three women to play. And you can also sign up individually to be added to a team, and that registration can be found online. We are joined again by First Alert Meteorologist Chris Masterbono. Final full weekend of August. That's crazy. August has flown, but last Friday, Chris called it a fabulous Friday forecast. Same goes for today. Okay, so you know? he's trademarked that when you've trademarked that. That's one. true. <laughs> that is true. Fabulous, fantastic. Yeah, yeah whatever, whatever you want to use there. But yeah, we've had uh, this month has blown by yeah, without question. And live looking to Rehoboth, some folks on the beach early this morning uh, taking a nice walk on that cool sand. And we are seeing 61 degrees right now in Rehoboth. Dew point is 56 calm winds and we continue to see that dry air things along the bay looking very nice this morning in cambridge mostly sunny skies right around that 80 degree mark chris field the same we'll top out around 77 degrees fenwick island 50s to start will top out in the mid 70s ocean city plenty of sunshine there low risk of rip currents uv index still high so keep that in mind if you're going to be out for a prolonged period of time lewis well, mostly sunny skies there, topping out around 77 in Rehoboth Beach, the same wave heights around one foot. Now, we will talk, though, about that weekend forecast ahead that features a gradual warm-up in temperature. And then the, the next week, we talk about the return of that heat and humidity and maybe some 90-degree temperatures. August, we've talked about it. It is flying right by. And so will one annual event that starts tomorrow. Yeah, and Coast TV News anchor Mallory Metzner shows us all the cool things to do this weekend. Enjoy an action-packed weekend in Ocean City on the sand and in the sky. Plus, art and athletes can be found at events in the first state. An annual event is gearing up to four-wheel drive. Ocean City Jeep Fest is back through Sunday. The beach turns into a Jeep playground with a sand course by the pier and daily beach crawls. The convention center is the event hub with a concert lineup playing at the Performing Arts Center. The Ocean City Air Show zooms back onto the coast. There will be fighter jets, cargo demos, and even an Italian Air Force display in the U.S. for the first time in over 30 years. Bargains on the Broadkill is back this Saturday. 60 craft and artisan vendors will be set up in Milton Memorial Park. The Irish Eyes Canoe and Kayak Race starts at 10 a.m. The Rubber Duck Drop is at 2 p.m. Buy a duck for the chance to win prizes up to $500. Just across Union Street, there's an ice cream social at King's Ice Cream for the Milton Garden Club. 20% of sales will go to the club and in turn toward making Milton beautiful. Special Olympics athletes from around the region will meet up in Dover on Saturday. The annual Regional Special Olympics Cycling Classic takes place at the Del Dot Danner campus from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. More than 80 athletes are set to race various distances that accommodate different skill levels. A new jewelry showcase called Single Source opens at the Heidi Lowe Gallery this Saturday with a reception from 5 to 7 p.m. The artist draws inspiration from geometry found in the natural world. Zoom over to Zuvi Night at the Salisbury Zoo this Saturday. The Zuvi being screened is Legend of the Guardians, the Owls of Gahul. Get a ticket online, bring a school supply donation to get free popcorn. An outdoor celebration in Milton is set to benefit BB Hospital Saturday night. The Goonies Fest features children's games and activities, food trucks and vendors, live music, and of course, a screening of the film, The Goonies. For full event schedules and registration pages, go to coasttv.com and click on this week's Cool Things to Do article.
Here at North Bay Marina, we know that boaters have the most fun. Hot tub, hot tub, hot tub. Millions of dollars of factory direct 2024 inventory. Today and tomorrow. With Comico Civic Center. Hundreds of hot tubs and swim spas ready for immediate delivery. Factory direct prices. Many models to choose from. Come see the revolutionary swim spa and save thousands. Trade-ins welcome. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. 18-month interest-free financing. New 2024 inventory. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. With Comico Civic Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 855-SPA-SALE. Turn your home into a masterpiece with Artwork Painting. Local professional painters at an affordable price. Artwork Painting did an excellent job with our house. We were really happy with all of the pieces of work they did, uh, the drywall work, the walls, the trim. I would definitely recommend Artwork Painting for your house. Artwork Painting treats our customers and their homes with care, delivering quality work and experiences. Call Artwork Painting now for a free same-day estimate. Artwork Painting, keeping Southern Delaware beautiful inside and out. So one of the things that I do uh, that I pride myself on is to be a very personally involved attorney. From the writing of the contract to the settlement, I am involved. Uh, we have a team approach. Uh, we have real people that work with you in your real estate closing. From the signing of the contract to the closing, uh, we offer all the personal needs you need so that you can have the confidence in the investment that you're making. Bear, Mandalas, Brockstead, and Federico. Right lawyers, right now. Now on Cooks TV News. Harris's moment, the new presidential nominee ready for the final stage of the 2024 campaign as the Democratic convention comes to an end in Chicago. And that fall like chill greeting us once again, but we're going to warm up nicely into the afternoon, mostly sunny skies, and that warming trend will continue into the weekend. My full forecast coming up. And the final alarm for a hero firefighter, the emotional day that honored the service of Thomas Berry III. Fenwick Island ready for legal fight. It's opposition against wind farm plans for our coast ramp up. This is Coast TV News Today. August 23rd, 2024. Good morning. I'm Matt Pensa. Good morning, Elisa. Good morning, Matt. I'm Elisa Weber, and thank you all for joining us. The time is 6.31 on this Friday. We're at Friday. Friday. I always feel like this weekend every year is a hard one to track. Yeah. I think it might not be as busy with visitors holding back for that one big Labor Day weekend blowout next weekend. I don't know, but as we've been seeing, the weather is gorgeous, so it's not too hot at the beach, so I disagree. I think it might or be Maybe more of the locals busy. will just truck on maybe. in. Maybe. You know? I mean, if you don't want to deal with the heat, as Chris is going to tell us, just a little bit better go to the beach. But who knows? You could be right. Back. You could. Be right. could. Yeah. Good morning, guys. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Yes, we, we are going to see the return of that heat next week. But right now, though, look at this shot from Lewis. Clear skies and, yes, that fall like chill still in the air. We are in the 50s right now in Lewis, 57 degrees. Winds are calm. We've had the radiational cooling overnight once again, and we're seeing those low 50s across the area. So very uh, cool to start. We're at 50 in Del Mar, 53 there in Salisbury, 54 Milton, and 61 in Rehoboth Beach. Now, dew points, very comfortable. We're going to stay that way for most of the weekend. It's not until next week we begin to see more of that southwesterly flow high pressure settling in right over the mid-atlantic dry throughout most of the east and it's going to stay that way right through the weekend in fact we're going to see the low humidity continue today low 80s the weekend itself looking dry seasonable uh, sunshine prevailing throughout most of the peninsula and then next week we get into that more of that southerly flow temperatures right around the 90 degree mark humidity does increase and then we'll throw in a few storm chances. Not a whole lot of rain expected in the extended forecast, but there you see future cash showing the clear skies. Temperatures rising from the 50s pretty quickly into the 70s by around 10. And we will see plenty of sunshine throughout your Friday afternoon, getting into the lower 80s in interior sections. We'll stay in the uh, low 70s at the coast. So coming up, we'll talk more about that all important weekend forecast.
and then we'll talk more about the heat returning next week. You'll see some 90s in that extended forecast, and I'll have that for you in just a few minutes. Matt? Thank you, Chris. You are looking live at Chicago, Illinois, just after 5.30 there, and it was what happened a few hours ago that people are still buzzing about. Yeah, history has been made at the Democratic National Convention. It concluded on Thursday with Kamala Harris accepting her party's presidential nomination. Harris is the first woman of color to top the ticket and is laying out her vision for the country if elected. The prosecutor turned senator and vice president, promising to cut taxes for the middle class and bring back the bipartisan border bill. The vice president is now telling NBC News she is looking ahead. We are charting a new way forward. She taught us to never complain about injustice, but do something about it. Harris referencing her mother in the last clip will now begin a 74 day sprint with her VP pick until voting concludes on election day. A procession Thursday in Georgetown honored fallen hero Thomas Berry III. People filed to the Crossroad Community Church to pay their final respect to the volunteer firefighter. Thomas Berry III died while helping a driver after a crash on Route 9. And Coast TV News reporter Christina DeRobertis was in the church at the service and shows us how Berry is being remembered. As the somber sound of bagpipes echoed, Thomas Berry III's casket draped in the American flag was lifted onto a fire truck. Hundreds of emergency service workers saluted him and inside the church, a eulogy from his Sussex County EMS manager brought many to tears. He was a hero. Um, he was a hero ga who gave his life serving the community. EMS director Robert Murray reflected on the tragic day Barry lost his life. We have a policy where you know, you're in a marked paramedic vehicle. Uh, we expect you to stop and just check to see if anybody's injuries and make sure it's called in. Murray spoke about how Barry seamlessly moved from his EMS role into his duties as a firefighter. He really transitioned from doing what we expect of our staff to doing what he had been trained and done so many times as a volunteer firefighter. And he engaged um, you know, with the patient. And colleagues say at his core, Barry was always a firefighter. On record, he was an eight-year member, but Thomas grew up in Ellendale, and we've known him his entire life. So um, he was definitely a mentor to our junior membership, and um, we're going to be sad, uh, you know, that he won't be around. Ellendale Fire Company President Kyle Perry says Barry's final act was a testament to his character and courage. Thomas did what any volunteer firefighter or firefighter across the nation would do, um, and we do it day in and day out, and he, he definitely honored all of us, Georgetown, Ellendale, the Sussex County Department of Public Safety, the way we would want it uh, to happen. Unfortunately, uh, it was a tragic loss, but um, he represented all three agencies with pride. <laughs> Thomas Berry's bravery remembered today as his legacy lives on. Thomas Berry was Allendale's Firefighter of the Year in 2022. And Delaware State Police confirmed down power lines killed Thomas Berry. And from our Coast Copter, you can see the accident scene on Route 9 from August 12th. Barry was trying to help people involved in the crash. And from the ground, you can see where the road was closed for about 12 hours that day. Police say a Chevrolet Malibu sideswiped a Toyota Camry that it was trying to pass. The Malibu then veered off the road and struck a utility pole. And according to troopers, Barry was assisting the Malibu driver when that utility pole snapped, bringing down those power lines. Happening today, the pushback against the wind farm proposed to be built off of our coast. This is about to be taken up a notch in Fenwick Island. The town council there is considering legal action if the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management green lights the plan. A vote could be taken whether to have Marzula Law LLC represent them in a lawsuit. It was earlier this year that Fenwick Island said no to $2 million spread out over 20 years by alternative energy company U.S. Wind to use its land for the project. The Bureau is expected to have a decision next month. And that's a decision that could also trigger a lawsuit against the Bureau from Ocean City. Earlier this month, Mayor Rick Meehan and the council began to prepare for that action if the wind farm is approved. 
U.S. Wind has been planning to add wind turbines nearly 11 miles away from the Ocean City boardwalk. And Meehan told Coast TV News that he believes the Bureau is not taking the town's concern seriously, and he thinks it will greenlight the U.S. Wind project. A lot more news to get to in this final half hour. Don't go anywhere. Coming up, Driving into Jeep Fest will show you the exciting features you can expect at the event's 10th year in the coastal town. Also, chopping block for the Phils, how the Braves kept the Phillies' bats silent in the rubber game of this key series. And an active volcano in Iceland is smoking everything in its past. We'll tell you how frequent eruptions have been in the country. Stay with us on Coast TV News Today. Welcome to Beach Barrels. No matter where you're from, everyone is a local. Fun times and good vibes await with a wide variety of craft brews, plus our award-winning Primo Hoagies made fresh daily. Dance the night away at the best live music venue in Ocean City. And there's never a bad seat to catch your favorite sports team. Dine in or relax on our outside deck with comfortable seating and beautiful palm trees for a cozy, tropical atmosphere. Beach Barrels open 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. at 132nd and Coastal Highway. In Delaware, a family earning $67,000 a year pays the same tax rate as one making $67 million. I'm Matt Meyer, and you don't have to be a former math teacher to know that's an outrage. As governor, I'll make the super wealthy pay more in taxes so working people can pay less. By making state taxes more fair, we'll help more families get ahead. It's not just smart math, it's the right thing to do. Democrat Matt Meyer for governor. Join the Harry K. Foundation for the Fashion for Charity Girls' Night Out October 16th from 6 to 9 p.m. at Shellville Village in Rehoboth Beach. Indulge in cocktails, hors d'oeuvres, a fashion show, and shopping on this evening of fashion, food, friends, and philanthropy. Tickets are $48 with benefits going to the Harry K. Foundation, working to defeat childhood hunger throughout Delaware. For tickets and info, visit harrykfoundation.org. Sponsored by Coast TV. My impact matters at Life's Energy Wellness Center. I can see that. We believe in providing our communities with services and spaces that support individualized recovery and fosters hope in all areas of wellness. We're hiring behavioral health professionals and administrative support staff. We offer paid professional development training, hybrid and flexible scheduling, and supervision hours. Juntos podemos crear una comunidad de apoyo y resiliencia. Your impact matters. Fly online today. Good Friday morning, Delmarva. Here's a live look into Laurel. That sun's shining in the Laurel. You can see that morning uh, moisture dew there kind of coming up from the uh, area there. And you're seeing a temperature of 51 degrees right now. So very cool, very dry, very comfortable to start. And that taste of fall greeting us once again. Third straight morning of lower 50s across the area. We're at the 60s at the coast. So a gorgeous morning ahead. Now the UV index still high, so keep that in mind. We're at an eight despite the cool temperatures. Burn times coming in 20 to 30 minutes. Well, if you're making your way to the courses over the next few hours, well, cool start, plenty of sunshine, and look at that, mostly sunny skies. Temperature of 82 degrees this afternoon. We are looking spectacular, and you can get your weather at any time by calling that weather phone. Call 443-880-9100 for your latest forecast. We'll have a look at that seven-day forecast here in just a few minutes. Near this morning, Icelandic officials report that a volcanic eruption began in southwestern Iceland on Thursday. As you can see from the video from a scientific flight by the Norwegian Defense Forces, just check out this. Molten lava flowing, smoke billowing. Iceland's Public Safety Department of Na National Police share the footage showing the volcano's sixth eruption since December. Now a better look at the crime situation in Laurel. The police department has released their July report. A few of the things that are noteworthy from that month, you can see that report right there on your screen. 64 total arrests, 16 violent crimes, 111 property crimes. There are also 15 traffic collisions and nine DUI arrests. From the, Wawa studio. the Phillies entered Truist Park last night looking to swipe a series victory over the Atlanta Braves. Could they wake up the bats against their NL East rivals? Let's find out. Second inning, Braves trail 1-0. Gio Urshela rips one into the left field corner. It hops over the wall for a ground rule double. One run scores. Braves tie it at one. 
third inning, same score. Matt Olson smokes one off the wall and right for a double. This allows another run to scamper on home. Braves lead two to one. Bottom of the six, same score. Adam Duvall already two for two. How about a long three for three? The solo shot is his 11th long ball of the year. Braves ahead 3-1. Seventh inning, same score, one on. JT Rail Muto goes the opposite way into right center field. It was cut off nicely, but no one was going to catch Bryson Stott at the plate. He's in safely. Phillies pull within one. Ninth inning, same score. Raisel Iglesias in for the save. First, Iglesias gets Bryce Harper fishing. Next, Nick Castellanos. See you later. Then he blows it by Stott to end it. Iglesias strikes out the side. Braves win it 3-2. The Phillies are back in action tonight at 8-10 p.m. in Kansas City. That'll do it for sports. Have a great day, everyone. Our 50-degree temperatures this morning will give way to sunny skies and temperatures topping out in the low 80s this afternoon. A gorgeous Friday across the Delmarva Peninsula, and it's going to be an even better weekend ahead. I'll have the latest seven-day forecast when Coast TV News Today continues. Take your favorite radio station with you wherever you go. Download free today. Positive, focused, supportive, and goal-oriented. These are just a few qualities of coaches who inspire their athletes. Each month, the Preston Automotive Group will select a coach who makes a difference and make a $500 donation to their organization. Then at the end of the year, three of these coaches will receive an extra donation to their program. Nominate your coach today at DelmarvaSportsNetwork.com under the Features tab. Delmarva Sports Network Coach Who Makes a Difference. Brought to you by Preston Automotive Group. Your wallet is always in danger. Criminals can hack your information without you even knowing. Introducing Slimmint, an ultra-thin RFID-blocking wallet that keeps your cards and cash protected. Slimmint uses the latest RFID-blocking technology to prevent thieves from stealing your info. It's ergonomically designed to optimize space and keep your belongings organized. With the auto-locking Slimmint, your cards and money stay securely in place. It has a built-in cash clip and a flexible outer band to fit your additional cards and cash. Call or click now and get Slim Mint for just $29.99. Order in the next five minutes and you'll get an instant $10 discount. So it's only $19.99. But wait, due to rising costs, this may be your last chance to get Slim Mint at this low price. There's a strict limit of three Slim Mint wallets while supplies last. Don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-613-4296. Call or visit SlimMintWallet.com. So call 1-800-613-4296 now. 877-CALL-FUR FHFUR.COM Got a plumbing problem that can't wait? Then why would you? At FHFUR, we know how frustrating it is to be stuck waiting for help, which is why we offer same-day service guaranteed. Whether it's a leaky faucet, a clogged drain, a broken pipe, you name it, the expert plumbers at FHFUR are standing by and ready to get you out of hot water. Or maybe into some hot water, if that's your issue. Same-day service guaranteed, regardless of your plumbing predicament. 877-CALL-FUR FHFUR.COM It is now 647 on this Friday morning and we are taking a look outside into Rehoboth and as we can see the sun is coming up Chris that is a beautiful scene right there in Rehoboth it's a beautiful day to go for a nice early morning boardwalk walk you know it's, it's nice outside Chris as you can agree it's been a nice week hey, without question I know you at least like to run so perfect running weather uh, with the lower humidity and really anything get to do outdoors whether you're on land or at the coast or in on the water it's going to be a gorgeous Friday. Now, temperatures once again starting out in those lower 50s. Not seeing any 40s on the board like we had yesterday, but nonetheless, that fall-like chill greeting us out the door this morning. Dew points still very dry, and we've seen those low temperatures over the course of the last few days, all thanks to that radiational cooling. Now, normally, ground heats, that heat escapes into the atmosphere. When you have clouds, it acts as a blanket keeping that heat at the surface. But over the last few nights, we've had high pressure, clear skies, and that has allowed that heat to escape into the atmosphere, thus the temperatures falling to their lowest points that they can get to for this time of year. And we've seen near record lows over the last few days as well. Not any records, but near records. Now, the high pressure over uh, much of the Delmarva, keeping us dry, protecting us from that system across the uh, outer banks there. But we are going to see plenty of sunshine throughout the afternoon, topping out in the lower 80s. So a fabulous Friday, we'll call it. 
Northeast winds at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. There you see uh, low 80s across much of the interior Delmarva. 82 Cambridge, 83 in Easton. 81 Snow Hill, 78 in Chicoteague. Now there you see clear skies through the afternoon. It's going to be another clear night. Start at, out in some 50s tomorrow morning as well, but by tomorrow afternoon, we're in the mid 80s for most of the interior Delmarva, and then we'll trend even warmer by Sunday. We'll see mid 70s, mid to upper 70s at the coast, mid to few upper 80s for the interior. But other than that, a spectacular weekend from coast to inland. Chicoteague 81 for both Saturday and Sunday. We'll see 75 there in Assateague. Big weekend in Ocean City, Jeep Fest and the Air Show, 77 there. And then we're looking at temperatures of around 82 in Lewis on your Saturday. There's the airport, uh, the Ocean City Air Show forecast. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, so a gorgeous weekend there. And as I mentioned, humidity levels will be rising as we get into next week. We will see the return of the 60 and 70 degree dew points, unfortunately. 82 degrees. A gorgeous day across Del Mar, 56 overnight, a sensational start to the weekend, 83 humidity levels will still be at bay, at least for the weekend, begin to creep up by Monday, and then there, they're going to be back in full force by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, and the return of the 90 degree temperatures back on Del Mar. Thank you, Chris. For Jeep lovers, Ocean City is the place to be this weekend. Happening now, Jeeps will be lined up outside the convention center in the town for the annual Jeep Fest. Four-day event features Jeep displays, vendors, music. At least a honking good time will be had. I did go there, along with events and competitions on the beach. And one Jeep owner that we spoke with says that it's all about bringing the family together and meeting new people. Hey, I love it. Me, my family, the dogs, and see, we've got a whole group of people over here. We bring everybody out. Something we all just brings the family together. My son owns a Jeep. I bought him up for Christmas. That's how I ended up with this. I love showing it off and talking to the people and meeting new people. Man, you meet a lot of friends, a lot of family. Good times. I want to meet that guy. Jeep Fest kicked things off Thursday, and the fun will go all the way until Sunday afternoon with events scheduled throughout the day. And this is now going to take us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know what you look forward to the most with Jeep Fest. Okay, we've got some change in yeah. the, we got more votes coming in, a little change in the percentage, but the breakout is about the same. The Sand Course, by far the most popular event there, but then an even distribution with the Jeep vendors, the concerts, Jeep viewing, and uh, the beach crawl. It all looks fun. Yeah, it's it, all a good choice. Yeah, if you haven't voted yet, you can still do so at coasttvnews.com or our mobile app. And it is now 6.51 this morning, so we're going to check in with our Coastal Pet of the Day. And today's Coastal Pet of the Day comes to us from the Brandywine Valley SPCA. Look at Sandman. That's on your screen right now. Got the name likely for his color of his coat. Sandman is not big and scary like the villain, but instead we hear that Sandman's another couch potato. Perhaps the sweetest couch potato you ever want to meet. Sandman enjoys naps, lots of snuggles, so if you want to adopt Sandman, Elisa... He's so cute. Oh, they're adoptable pets. Just go ahead, visit the Brandywine Valley SPCA. And we want to see more of your pets on Delmarva, so make sure you send us photos and tell us what makes them so special to you. You can take a look at your screen. That is where you will find the QR code. Scan that, submit your friend to us here, and then watch weekdays from 5 to 7 a.m. to see all the pets that we feature. Well, if you're breaking out the grill later on this afternoon, spectacular weather. I'll take a burger with some cheddar there. Look at that. 82 degrees by this afternoon, plenty of sunshine, and we are in for quite a nice weekend. We'll take a look at that 10-day when Coast TV News Today comes right back. For every season, every weather moment, stay ahead with the Coast TV First Alert Weather Phone. Just call 443-880-9100. Your forecast, just a call away. Sponsored by the law offices of Baird, Mandalas, Brockstead, and Federico. Intruders are more likely to target homes with dark zones. Take the bullseye off your house and turn on Bionic Spotlight Extreme 360, the motion-activated home defense light that looks just like a high-tech security camera. It detects even the slightest motion and automatically triggers six ultra-bright LED high beams. During the day, it's disguised as a high-tech security camera. It's completely wireless and installs in just seconds. Powered 
by solar panels, no batteries needed. It adjusts a full 360 degrees. Call or go online and order your Bionic Extreme 360 for just $19.99. But wait, we can also include a second one. Just pay a separate fee. Plus, we'll give you free shipping on your entire order. To order, call 1-800-316-1548 or go online to buybionic360.com. To call 1-800-316-1548 or go to buybionic360.com. When you're close to the land and the sea, you can taste the goodness. The historic Lewis Farmer's Market brings farms closer to tables. Meet the growers, talk to the people that milk the cows, and pick the perfect peaches. Organically grown fruits and vegetables, sustainable meats and eggs, A2 dairy products, artisan breads, and fresh local seafood. The historic Lewis Farmer's Market is in the park every Saturday from 8 to noon and at Crooked Hammock Brewery every Wednesday from 8 to 11.30 a.m. Reel in big bucks at Ocean Downs with Hooked on Cash. Five players will be drawn to go fishing. Three will land free play and two will net $5,000 cash. Earn entries daily and more on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. Mondays at 5 on Big 1077. It's time to huddle up and talk football. We're talking touchdowns, tackles, and everything in between. From game-changing plays to the latest news around the league. We'll take a deep dive into all of the plays that made a difference. We'll see you in the end zone. Catch the end zone, Mondays at 5 on Big 1077. It is 6.55 and it's time for the things you need to know before you go. The Milford Police Department are getting an upgrade. Four police vehicles are set to be replaced, and the police department tells us that this is already approved by the city budget. And the agency picked out the cars it wants to buy, and the Milford City Council are set to vote on the final approval at the meeting on Monday night. Laurel Police Department has released their July crime numbers. You got a few of the highlights from that. You can see it on your screen. A total of 64 arrests took place, 16 violent crimes, 111 property crimes. 52 traffic collisions, and there were also nine DUI arrests. And it's now 6.56, and we're going to have a quick look at our forecast before you head out the door. Now, Chris, we continue the stretch of pleasant conditions heading into the weekend. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's going to continue. continue. In fact, uh, we've got the green light. If you want to watch that car, perfect conditions for that. Wax the wheels up nice and shiny for the weekend, and we are going to see plenty of sunshine throughout the weekend. Low humidity continues at least through Monday. We begin to see those humidity levels creep up back at uh, dew points back in the 60s and 70s, especially by next week, Tuesday and Wednesday. And there you see the 90s make a return, especially the uh, late mid to late week. And then as we roll into the uh, Labor Day weekend, right now looking relatively dry with temperatures, uh, seasonable temperatures. So we'll, we've still got a few days to work on that, but uh, looking pretty good into this weekend. All right, thank you, Chris. And boy, you're heading into the weekend. You cannot ask for more better conditions. If you are yeah. in town or, hey, if you just, you know, go to the beach every weekend or the yeah. state parks, this is just a great one to do. Looking forward to it's it. It's a good weekend to sit outside and eat some dinner outside. We had the grilling the forecast earlier. I know. Maybe you should try some of that. I don't know if I can grill. I don't know. My dad definitely will. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, right. it's a good weekend for that if you're able to. All right. Well, thank you for being up with us. The Today Show is coming up next at 7 a.m. And then we'll be back for Coast TV News at 11 o'clock for midday. And for even more news and coverage, you can count on. Grab your phone. You can track those hour-by-hour -hour sunny, pleasant conditions if you get our weather app. Hey, everybody, have a great morning and a great weekend.